My name is Dan Stoner. Uh, my blog is called the Autoculture Foundation, autoculture.org. And the blog is basically that. It's about automotive culture and everything that go it surrounds it, goes along with it, things that are influenced by it. I was 16 and I thought, you know, I want something a little different. I found a four-door Dodge Matador, baby blue with a white roof. It was $300 and I talked the guy down to 250 Oh, I'll make this quick. And that's been my love affair with Chrysler ever since I was, you know, since 1985, 86. I'm not coming back. I'm just gonna, I'll see you guys next week. I think people get into cars because it's the one product that you buy that's, that, that you enclose yourself into. I mean, you get into a car and you put your entire body inside a car. It seems like there was a time, you know, 30, 40, 50 years ago when you would, you know, get gussied up and go out to a new car unveiling, you know, at a dealership and that kind of thing. I think now social media kind of takes the place of that dealership unveil, you know, and nowadays you can do all the research you want from the you know, comfort of your own home. You can watch HD video of a, of a new car, of a new release and that sort of thing, and do all your homework at your own pace. Yeah, it's a mid-sized car and I'm 6'2", and it, I, my first impression is, oh, I'm not going to fit in this thing. But when I get into it and I got that leather surrounding me and I see that dash gauge and the backlit cluster and the, the, you know, the stereo and that sort of thing, it really makes me feel like I'm in something a little more special than just an average run-of-the-line you know, mid-level car. It just feels a lot better. It feels like you're encased a little bit more and it gives you a little bit more control, I think, in cornering. And believe me, I tried cornering at about 40. So... <laughs>